uh, where's Puppet C was supposed to be doing the Assassin's Creed review. What the hell's that noise? Yeah. Leap of faith. Awesome. Where'd that noise come from? Oh, no Billy Jean over there can make can make some cool noises. Okay, well that explains that, but where did you come from? Oh, that, that one's easy too, up there. Oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. But, without further ado, welcome to the new installment of Puppet Tea Reviews. This time we're doing Assassin's Creed's Origins. And it's exactly what you think. It is the origins of the Assassin Brotherhood. It was an alright game, story was kind of short, and most of the gameplay was pretty much um, side quests and then question mark thingies when the map looks like that. Yeah. The story was kind of short, it was alright, got to see the uh, origins of the Hidden Blade. Mm. Get to see Bayak cut off his finger. Accidentally, Bayak is this guy. He's a uh, the assassin, I guess you can say we're following. But in this, he's a um. I can't believe I played an entire game and I had to look this up. But in Medjai, pretty much a protector of Egypt. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. You played the game and you can't even remember that. Hey, I don't even have a brain. I'm a puppet. Oh well. But yeah, he was that before becoming a hidden one, which the hidden one would evolve into the Assassin Creed Brotherhood. You know, with like Altair and my personal favorite, Ezio. Oh yeah. But the game wasn't all too awfully bad. It has the origins of the Hidden Blade. The origins of their little symbol, you know this thing. The Assassin's Creed symbol. It was good. I even got the DLC so I can level up some more, which I did not like that. I had to pay to level up past level 40. What kind of bullshit is that? It's ridiculous. But I got the Curse of the Pharaoh one. Playing that one. I don't think I'll do a review on it. It's pretty much the same. Um, sometimes as you climb up walls or mountains or whatever, you like get stuck. Bayak gets stuck and you can't, he's like, it's annoying. You have to adjust him and just a tiny bit of adjustment. Then he's able to go right back up. Um, that was kind of a bug, I think. Not a terrible one. Unless you're, like, low on health and you're trying to parkour your way out or to not get seen and sneak around and uh, assassinate. Which, which is, the gameplay, it was not terrible. You can either sneak around and go stabby stabby, not get caught. Or you go in, swords a-swinging, bows a-blazing, destroying everything in your path. So it don't really matter which way you go into it. But, yeah, I'm not going to get much into the story. I'll let you guys play it for yourself. Plus, it's a game that's been around since, like, 2017, I think. It's old-ish. But, yeah, the scenery of Egypt was beautiful. I like exploring the, uh, like, the temples and the pyramids. Kind of disappointed on the puzzles. Those were pretty easy. I was hoping that at least one pyramid or temple would be maze-like. And that's pretty much straight ahead. Here's a little room right here with treasure. Have fun. The game wasn't terrible. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I give this game a 7 out of 10. And there goes my review on Assassin's Creed's Origins. 
I will eventually get to, um, what was it? Oh yeah, Fallout 4. Woohoo, 4. Best Fallout, I guess. Only one I've ever really played. It's fun. But this video isn't about that. That's for a different time. Hold your horses. Well, anyways, yeah, that is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next review. For Code RT. Or Skit. Whenever the studio needs me. I'll see you then!